Hey guys, I'm Hemel and in this video I want to talk about investing in stocks. I've been investing since 2021, I've lost some money, I've gained some and I don't want other people to make the same mistake I did. But bear in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, this isn't financial advice, I'm just a regular guy who started investing and I wanted to share the things that I've learned from all the research I've done and talking to friends in the industry. I'll mention the stocks that I've invested in in this video. So if you're a complete beginner and you haven't got a clue about what stocks to invest in, let me tell you where to start. I want to keep this really, really simple because when I first started, I wasn't really sure about any of the terminology. But basically, investing in stock is like becoming a part owner of a company. So when you buy a share at a certain price, you wait a certain number of years or a period of time, and that value goes up based on how the company is performing, whether it's new products, new services that they're offering, and as a result, it's growing confidence for people to invest more money into them. So when you buy a tiny share of a particular stock of a company, you wait a few years and you sell it at a higher price than what you bought it for, resulting in a profit for you. The trading platform I use is CMC Markets. I did a little bit of research and I wanted to be able to buy US stocks, I just found that they were highly rated. So let's get on to the very first learning. So all my stocks I've held for long term and I think that's the best strategy to take. If you're doing it for short term and you're doing day trading, it's much more riskier. I just wanted something very low maintenance, low risk. And the only way you can achieve that is a long term strategy. When it comes to the stock market, the best thing to invest in are index funds and ETFs. And the most popular that most people invest in is the S&P 500 because it tracks the top 500 companies in the US. And if one company isn't doing so well, it'll fall out of that top 500. So you can be rest assured that all companies are performing great. The S&P 500 is basically a good indicator of the overall stock market. Many investors really like the S&P 500 because of how diverse the companies are within the top 500. And also it's got a very good history for providing long-term returns and people making money off it. So something that I've learned recently is there isn't a particular stock called the S&P 500 that you can invest directly into. It has to be an ETF, for example, that tracks the S&P 500. And there's around 30 of them. And amongst those 30, there's different fees, different structures, and different strategies. But they all aim to replicate the performance of the S&P 500. These ETFs are easier to buy and sell. Some charge lower fees. Some are better for long-term growth. Some try to make bigger gains quickly, whereas other ones try and help protect your money if the market were ever to go down. So there's lots of different variations that you can invest into. There's different tickers, which are three letters that identify a particular ETF. And the ones that are the most popular that tracks the S&P 500 is VOO, IVV and SPY. I've invested in VOO, which is managed by Vanguard. To get an idea of how much money you could actually make, if we look at this graph, in the past year, the S&P 500 has grown 26.9%. In the last five years, it's grown 92.24%. So if you invested $1,000, after five years, you'll have 1,900. And of all time, it's a whopping 651.41%. Even if you look at just the last six months, it's already gone up by 10.97%, which is very high performing, especially it being half a year. The reason I picked VOO over the other two is because it charges lower fees at 0.03%. And also because of Vanguard who managed the fund, they have a strong reputation and are known for long-term investing. I'll put up all the key differences on the screen for all three of them for you to take a look. So even though for a long-term strategy, index funds and ETFs are the way to go, there's also some individual stocks that are worth considering. When it comes to the index funds, I invest around 70 to 80% of my money, whereas the other 20 to 30% I invest in these individual companies because they've shown strong growth in the market. And these are well-known companies, for example, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, which is Google, Berkshire, which is Warren Buffett's, Nvidia, which is doing very well at the moment, Tesla, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, and Visa. Personally, I've invested in all of them except the last three. 
customers. From my friends that work in the industry and from all the research I've done and from even my own experience of investing in individual smaller companies, companies that weren't very well known, they were startups, I've lost money in those scenarios and it's best to do long-term investing when it comes to the stock market in all the stocks that I've mentioned in this video. Investing in the long term is good because it helps your money grow through interest. It also lets you handle the market ups and downs better and it usually leads to higher returns. Plus it also has lower fees making it more affordable. So from everyone that I've spoken to about investing in the stock market they all say the same thing and they wish they started earlier. Whether it be investing a certain amount every single month like a hundred dollars or fifty dollars and letting it grow over time or just investing a whole lump sum in the beginning and leaving it and just forgetting about it. And to be honest I feel the same way. I wish I started much earlier. So just as a recap I've invested in index funds and ETFs with 70 to 80 percent of my money and the remaining 20 to 30 percent I've invested in individual stocks for high performing companies. This balance allows me to benefit from the diversification and lowers the risk with the index funds while still having the potential for higher returns from the individual stocks. I hope that was helpful sharing what I've invested in, especially as a beginner, I know how confusing it can be. But once you've made your mind up on what to invest in and the platform you'd like to use, it's actually very simple because once you've invested the money, you can set and forget and revisit in the next 5, 10, 20 or 30 plus years and see your money grow over time. Even if there's a financial crisis where the market collapses, it still manages to regain itself and continue growing as long as you're willing to wait and it's a long-term strategy. So I hope you found that helpful in some way. If you did, I appreciate a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.